Greetings gentlemen, welcome again to the Gentleman's Planet and today I'm going to show you when to use what not. Gentlemen, do you notice something odd in my clothes? Okay, forget the fact that I'm not wearing jacket and I'm folding my shirt because it's really hot today and I'm um, we are in Ramadan, so we have to not eat from morning till the sunset. And guess what? This gives us strength and allows the stomach to take a rest in order for the body to use its energy to do something else. Let's get back to style. The, the odd thing in my clothes is the tie knot. Look at that. I'm using a small tie knot into a large or spread collar. And this is really odd and must not be done. One of the gentleman's rules is to respect the width of your collar. There are actually three types of collar. The pointed, the semi-spread and the spread. What I'm wearing now is a spread collar. Which is why I must respect it using a tie that suits it. You go ahead and ask me, hey Isu, do I have to buy a slim tie for a pointed collar or I have to buy a large tie for a spread collar? Say no, because guess what my friend, I have news for you. Today I give you the solution to use just your same freaky old tie and just change its knot in order to respect the width of your collar. For example, I have a pointed collar all I have to use is this knot because it respects it, it simply respects it. If I have this kind of color, what do I have to use? Not the Italian knot, but more like the Windsor knot or the half Windsor knot, it depends on the color. I'll try to make it easy for you. Italian knot for a pointed color, half Windsor knot for a semi spread color, and the full Windsor knot for a spread collar and that's it you find the solution to your problem all right you don't want to look freaky anymore you don't want to look uh an, an odd guy with an odd tie knot <laughs> no all right you walk around confident and that's it. okay do you, do, you, do you see the difference now now that's amazing that's hilarious i mean ridiculous i mean all right, all right, it's fascinating. It's all the best adjective that we can describe because it's fit. The best adjective is fit because I'm respecting my width, okay? The color width. The full winds or not is the solution to that. I look cooler than before, and you can look cooler than any of your past days. Gentlemen, there is one other problem that you could face, and it's actually a common problem. What if you have a slim tie and it just doesn't fit? Look, whatever you do, it just doesn't fit. Half Windsor, full Windsor, it doesn't fit because it's a slim tie. You still don't have to buy a larger tie. There is a trick to that, a trick that I've discovered and I'll be showing you for free because it's YouTube. When you're adjusting your tie, try not to to fully respect the rules. We used to use it like this. The tail here and the edge here. But today we are going to break some rules. What are we going to do? We are going to do it like this. You see, it's odd because let's see how odd. We use the tail longer than the edge and let's see what happens it fits perfectly look just one single problem is this. Look at that. Oh gosh. This is the odd thing about this trick, but what can I do? 
what can you do is if you're wearing a vest it's easy you just hide it like this and nothing happens but if you are wearing only a shirt well what will you do that's gonna be a little tricky because you're going to put it through here And you button your jacket, make it appear a little like this, and you'll be all set and done. You'll be looking amazing. How do I look? Exactly. Cool. And you'll be looking even way cooler than that. Peace. <laughs>